So this is what I have so far. Arduino based. I'm giving it a shot. That is an Arduino Mega 2560 with a sensor shield on it. It has 53 I.O. It's got a whole bunch more stuff on it that I haven't even gotten into yet. The pink things are... <laughs> Uh, it just happened to be the color filament I had in the printer at the time. I 3D printed these uh, assemblies out for the servo mounts. These are off of Thingiverse. I didn't have to design them. They were all designed, pre-designed. So, <coughs> excuse me, the uh, servo mounts and the these I designed myself. They just these quick terminal boards because I didn't have any terminal strips at the time. They were done on uh, Google SketchUp really easy to work with uh, just to keep things uh, together um, and what I've found is the LEDs so I've drawn out here basically a crossover and what I found I can do is I can control this servo uh, and this servo with one input the one input here on the Arduino and the other one, wire coming off it is for the push button. So this would be mounted on your face here. And then I'm going um, with red and green, red and green on the turnout point. So if I push this button, it will control the servos. And you'll see that, so it's for the diverging route on this one and this one, because this one has turned. And if you see, this one turn, if you look at this one here, when I press this button, I'll go down here a bit, when I press this button, you'll see the other one move. There. So you'll see the LEDs. Let me turn this light off for a sec. You can see the LEDs turn um, from green to red, alternating. And those LEDs are not being triggered off of the Arduino. They're not using up a pin, an I.O., input, output, anything. They are simply just coming off of this sing sing uh, single pole double throw switch that is being actuated by the servo. And the lead for the servo, same with this one, so you'll see that it turns here it automatically turns that so there's red is no good it's for the diverging route you see the green diverging route and now it's green for the main line and red for the diverging route red for the diverging route green for here and if I from talk a little again there so I put the numbers on the board here you see the uh, Arduino Mega 2560 is 18 bucks sensor shield is $13, there's 53 I.O. and there's a whole bunch more stuff on this board, it's got a lot of stuff. This uses up next to nothing for current as best I can make out. There's a simple Y harness here that uh, ties in both servos on this one and this one. Um, the single pole double throw switch, you can hear that buzzing, I just have to back that off a bit on the the uh, number for the low end servo start on this one. Um, I'll show you that in a, in a second. Um, the push button is on pin 15 and the servo is on pin 3. It's really easy to do. I've never done Arduino before this. It's my first shot. But what I found, I've got these two LEDs here, this red and green and this red and green are on the same are coming off of the same switch here okay this just ties over to here the power is fed in this can be fed off if this was on a panel board um, separate to your or separate to your but on the front of your layout could be powered just from this is all powered from um, my uh, at the present time my NCE uh, power cab uh, DCC supply so it's the 15 
volts, give or take, on the bus lines for the DCC. And what I found out is these LEDs, if you just hook them up directly to the the line with a resistor, if you took one or two these two and hooked them up to, with a resistor, um, it didn't matter which side, which lead the anode or the cathode that the resistor was on, because it's an AC, uh, and so it doesn't matter. So what I've got wired on this is uh, they're just wired. And just to prove a point, this one is wired both anodes together and then the cathode and cathode. So this has a a common that comes from here. And the common off of this could also go, on my layout, it'll also go to feed the frogs as well. So this will go to the frog. It also feeds the common of these two LEDs. It also feeds the common of these two LEDs. And, the only, and then the, that common is has one resistor on it. So I'm only using one resistor for both these LEDs, one resistor for both these LEDs. And then I run the positive on this one to the red, and the negative to the other side of, of the green. On this one, I've got the, the negative on the red, and the positive on the green. So negative red, positive red, negative green, positive green. So when this turns, it actually the the common is going to be switched between picking up the negative with positive as it would go to the frog when in this instance it's going up to the common of the leds and it doesn't matter whether it's anode or cathode because it's not dc it, i don't know if it's it's just a happenstance i guess a happy find on my part anyway that I can utilize two. I've also got LEDs come in red greens, a single red green LED, and it's the same thing. They have a common, and then they have a um, uh, an anode and a cathode. Um, and by all means, anybody can correct me on this. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but so what will happen is it's the same thing. Come up, put the one on the common, and run the positive and negative. And then, in this instance, I would only have one LED on my panel, and it will switch between red and green, and this one will switch between red and green. But I've ordered a thousand um, red LEDs and a thousand uh, green LEDs and a hundred red-green LEDs. The thousand packages were 13. It works out to here, uh, three cents for the green LED, one cent for the red LEDs. Um, so that's what's running off this. It's, it's and the the Arduino has a, a its own separate power supply coming in, which is just onto a wall wart that I've had laying around. I think it's one and a half amp at I think it's twelve volts, um, and it works. This is the initial setup. This is my first and initial setup on this. And again, we've got. LEDs for marking the thing, the um, tracks and what's being assigned. So now again, the crossover is good to go. And but you can also run off of this and run to your lighting. You could run through a some kind of a detection switch. Um, it's open to whatever you can get, whatever's that'll be my next thing. And then putting in signaling actually on the layout, all based off the actual running of the DCC. Um, to get these points down here to the or these servos down to the points you're just running in and putting a z-bend here and that z-bend this will go through there's a hole right here it goes down through this gets attached to the servo and uh, I've got one on the layout already and it works fantastic. So, you know, um, 40 cents for the switch, 347 for the servos, 3 cents for an LED, 1 cent for an LED, 42 cents for the push button. Um, it is for a Y harness, it's $1.80 that I bought. Again, 13 for the sensor shield, 18 for the 2560, and again, this will do. Uh, it has 53, so I'm using two pins, one for the um, one for the push button, and in this instance, one 
to control two servos so it'll cross up so it'll cross over so you know for uh, um, for just a turnout you're going to utilize one and then this can be tied in somehow and I'm going to work on that as with JMRI as well and but I thought I'd just put this out there initially to show you what I've got going I apologize for the crappy video I think it is based on my cell phone but um, I'll plug this in and see what it see what interest it gets me anyway thanks guys for listening